Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fazia Shah. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. We're going to talk about the legacy of a narcissistic mother. Let's get started. Most children who are raised in a in a home where the mother is a narcissist, those children do not have a sense of identity. They actually orbit around this mother because they have to be the supplier. She has to have a supplier. And she uses her children. She uses her siblings. She will recruit people from the community extended family, some in-laws, not all of the in-laws, you find people orbiting around her. And they actually marry men who would orbit around them. In other words, the narcissist mother will be in the driver's seat. She will be the one who's going to be deciding what they do, what they wear, where they go, who they talk to, who they are friends with, who they should not be friends with. And that ex extends not just with their children, but it extends to other people in their lives and grandkids. So it's not unusual to find that children that grow up with a narcissist mother will tend to also become narcissists. And it takes a lot of work, not only to discover that about yourself, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of resiliency and a lot of courage to address it head on. So the narcissist mother will want her children to be an extension of herself. And they also tend to fall into this trap that, yeah, if I have this, if I have a car, a nice car, best neighborhood, a best job, making a lot of money, then I am successful. And that is my identity. And so the narcissist will actually make friends with people who are successful or who have money uh, or who have a status in the community. So the children buy into this, the grandchildren buy into this, and they believe that all these are very positives, and therefore they internalize this, and they also become narcissists. And this gets passed on to generation, to the generation, to the next generation. And that's the legacy of this narcissist mother, that she leaves her children incapable of dealing with life or coping with life or able to manage their relationships or manage when there are some difficult things that happen in their lives that they don't know what to do because the narcissist mother was the center of their world and she basically told them what to do, when to do, who to do it with, what not to do. So they were highly dependent on her for making decisions and, and basically trying to tell them how to live life. And so the same thing starts to happen through her children to the grandchildren. So if the children that was raised by a narcissist mother will also develop narcissistic personality, then now you're also raising children who are also going to become narcissists because they will value what you value because they are orbiting around you, just like you orbited around your mother, because that was communicated to be the right way to be. And so you expect the same from your own children and the relationships that you will find with, um, with children that have been raised by uh, a narcissist mother. They lack a sense of identity, they lack self-worth. They have low self-esteem, indecisive, not trusting their own decisions, not trusting their own selves. Find a lot of depression, a lot of loneliness, a lot of isolation. 
a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. And they also don't have a good sense of autonomy. So the developmental stages, which I've talked about in another video, they don't develop in a healthy, normal way because their needs are not important. They are not important. They are important in that what they can do for the narcissistic mother. So when she's gone, these children who now are parents and they have children, that same cycle or the same pattern gets repeated unless somebody breaks that and says, no, this is not okay. And there's a lot of secrecy in narcissistic families. They do not want other people to really know what's really going on in their house. So um, if there was sexual abuse, they're not going to want anyone to know, even in the family, they don't want anyone to know. So a lot of secrecy. And, and one of the tactics they use is shame and guilt, rage, anger. And at some point, it can also turn into physical. And that is all in an attempt to keep you in line so you can be orbiting around them to making sure that she's getting her supply. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'm wishing you the best. Thank you.